When Dial-Up Was King, The Story of CompuServe In the age of lightning-fast broadband and ubiquitous Wi-Fi, it's easy to forget the scratchy, static symphony of a dial-up modem connecting to the Internet. But before fiber optics and 5G, there was CompuServe, one of the earliest pioneers of the online world. For a generation of users, CompuServe wasn't just a service, it was the Internet. The birth of CompuServe, founded in 1969 as CompuServe Network, Inc. the company initially catered to businesses, providing time-sharing computer services. It wasn't until the mid-1970s that CompuServe ventured into the consumer market. With personal computers still a rarity, CompuServe's dial-up service allowed users to access a network of resources via their home phone lines a revolutionary concept at the time. By the 1980s, CompuServe had grown into the largest consumer online service, offering a suite of features that were ahead of their time, email, forums, online shopping, and even a precursor to today's internet search engines. Innovations ahead of their time. CompuServe introduced several innovations that would later become staples of the online experience. One. Email. CompuServe allowed its users to send messages to each other long before email became mainstream. 2. Forums. Special interest groups, ADS SIGs, allowed people to gather and discuss topics ranging from hobbies to professional advice. 3. News and weather. CompuServe provided access to real-time news and weather updates, giving users a reason to log on daily. 4. File downloads. The service enabled users to download shareware and other files, an early glimpse of the software distribution models we see today. These features made CompuServe a precursor to the modern Internet, serving as a digital gathering place for professionals, hobbyists, and early adopters of technology. The Glorious Era of ASCII Graphics Long before streaming video or high-definition images, CompuServe users navigated a world of ASCII text and rudimentary graphics. Its flagship terminal software, CompuServe Information Manager, CIM, allowed users to explore this brave new world with relative ease by the standards of the time. For many, the CB simulator chat rooms were an early taste of real-time online social interaction, complete with usernames and a thriving community culture. It was like a proto-discord for the 1980s and 1990s. The decline of an icon. As the Internet evolved in the 1990s, CompuServe began to face stiff competition from AOL and other emerging Internet service providers. While AOL's user-friendly interface and aggressive marketing campaigns attracted a massive audience, CompuServe remained somewhat stuck in its text-heavy, command-driven roots. By the late 1990s, CompuServe's dominance had waned, and in 1998, the company was acquired by AOL. Though AOL initially kept CompuServe alive as a separate service, its influence in the Internet landscape continued to diminish. CompuServe's legacy, CompuServe may no longer be a household name, but its impact on the online world is undeniable. It laid the groundwork for the Internet as we know it, introducing concepts and technologies that would become cornerstones of the digital age. For those who experienced it, CompuServe was more than just a service. It was a community, a portal to new ideas, and a glimpse of the future. In a world of 56K modems and telephone line battles, CompuServe reigned supreme. So the next time you load a forum, send an email, or chat in an online community, Take a moment to thank the trailblazers of dial-up who paved the way for our interconnected world. Do you have any memories of the CompuServe era? Share your stories in the comments.